Hey, you guys, we are back in South Africa. We're with the legendary Chopper Dundee. Is that, a, is that your chopper? No, that is. <laughs> <laughs> We are now in the official getting ready stages of this. The guys are out on the helicopter. This is Yolandi. Her and her husband have Dogga Boy Safaris. This is my wife. This is the vet. Our main priority today is gonna be to put the collar on the elephant. We're gonna try and do the matriarch. So they've already identified the matriarch, the leading cow, you know, the, uh, the leader of the herd, of the family group. So we're gonna put a satellite collar on her. There is a few other elephants that do have collars, but it's only VHF collars, you know, like radio signal collars. Uh, so we're going to put a sat satellite tracking collar on it. Yeah. Why would you be doing this? What is the benefit? This is just for management, for the reserve itself, for them to know where the elephants are, to track their movements. If they do escape the, the, the reserve, then they can find them easily. And yeah, it Super is still cool. a wild animal. I mean, they do escape. That's super cool. So they're all ready to go. Now they've got the dart. They're going to find the matriarch and the team is ready to go. Okay, Donk. No, Jay. <laughs> what are we working on? Take a nice piece of branch, yeah? Just big enough for, for the elephant's trunk. So to keep the airway open, we need to put some kind of support there because it closes up. So you need to keep it open for it to breathe properly. We're not gonna cut it to size yet. What we'll do, we'll cut it a bit smaller, depending on the size of, of the elephant. All right, we just saw the most awesome herd of Cape Buffalo. That's the first time I saw Cape Buffalo. And now we're gonna go zone in on the herd of elephants that they saw earlier. That way, Tina's back here, can dart up, safely put it down, so that they can work on it, get the satellite tracking device on it, and then Chopper Dundee over here is going to go back in the air, make sure the herd is not coming back for everyone's safety. They said the elephants, the herd, oh my gosh, Robert just blew out the window. <laughs> the herd can come back trying to be defensive over the one that they're working on. So it's critical that he stays in the sky, keeping his eyes out for the rest of the herd. This is the, the most crazy thing I've ever done in my entire life, and I'm so honored to be a part of it. Are you so excited? Do you think mommy's having a great time? Yes. Yeah? Give me five. And she's probably doing a lot of tricks in the helicopter. Oh, for sure. We, we saw her going up. All right, we've just located the herd of the elephants. Um, we're gonna go down now and just uh, see if we can identify that major arc. Okay, so the chopper's right there. We can see it. He's on top of the matriarch. They're about to put the dart in. This is where things get real, folks. Taken from the front on the right hand side. Can I have a over? Yeah, JJ. You darter? Holy smoke, that was fast! Alright guys, the dart is in. Uh, we're going to monitor her just from a distance, uh, but we'll let you know how it goes. She's already showing very nice signs that the dart is working. So, Perfect. Yeah. A lot of times you, 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 you have to try and get that shot uh, perpendicular to the skin. Because the skin is so thick, if it goes a little bit skew, you know, you actually get a plug in the in the in the needle itself, oh. and it it blocks, you know. All right, guys, you can uh, drive forward. Uh, she's down. We're about to take this party off road, y'all. This is insane. I've never been close to an elephant before. Yes, 
Andra percent, you can just come in there, it's quite open, you want to find a little road to get through, just gonna check on the scarf. Okay, we're gonna use this stick to keep hey, her look. trunk open. Unbelievable. Now they're gonna be wetting the back of her ears to keep her cool. Okay, there's the collar. Make a little plus in the pillow. Okay, okay counterweight. Yeah. Just wanna show you. So the belt is numbered to make sure that the counterweight is absolutely in the middle and the satellite tracking is right on top of there. So that's very, very important. Let's turn it a little bit so we just have a bit more space to work with it. Here, give me the nut. If you, if you look at the trunk here, yeah, so that can close when they under anesthetic. So this can close and that's going to stop her from breathing because she only breathes through her trunk. She doesn't breathe through her, uh, through her mouth, like a human and other mammals as well. Yeah. So you have to keep this, this part of the trunk open always. So I'm just sitting here and just feeling the, the, the uh, breath, you know, so it's consistent and there's no irre irre irregularities. Yeah. Do you have a wrench? I'll hold the bottom. There we go. We're going to wrench it. Andre. Which one are you doing? Uh, no, wait, wait, this one over here. This one. This one? This one, yeah? Wait, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. So Sarah is in there working to attach the collar and the counterweight right now. It may look big, but to an animal that's 7,000 pounds, it's a complete afterthought. Hey, get me the frog dog bag with the water. If someone needs water, get the frog dog bags with the water nice. You can see back here, this is the back of her ear. It's very, very soft and you can see these large veins. This is where she regulates the temperature of her entire body. So we don't want her to get hot. We keep it wet. I'm just feeling the body heat if she's not too hot now. But she's still cool, she's good. Their skin is... Wow. Their skin is just so amazing and... Sturdy and strong, and then they have all these little hairs on them. If you come back here to the tail, if you come to the tail, this almost feels like a wire brush. They're so like hard. Come on, go. Raise it up. I know. Do it together. The helicopter just got back in the air basically to hurt to to keep the herd from coming too close because if that herd sees the matriarch under duress they will stampede and i mean that would be terrible my left arm is not going to annoy you no, okay. aria how cool is that <laughs> emma you can touch whatever you want oh you're off I go. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Oh, wow. Oh. So if you look at the African elephant, Robert, you'll see that the ear looks like the shape of Africa. Raymond. Cool, huh? I'm virtually speechless right now. It's really heavy. Yeah. Feel this hair. It's not real hair. What does that feel like, Arya? Can I? This feels like plastic. Really? <laughs> wow. We are literally sitting with this beautiful elephant. The collar has been attached. She's in perfect shape. We've been keeping her ears wet. Now they're going to start to wake her up. 
The job has been done. They've taken bio samples. They know everything about her. Because she's already been tranquilized, they were able to give her the contraceptive so that now she won't be able to reproduce for the next year. There is so much time, effort, and money that goes in to keeping these animals alive, safe, and healthy. Now we're gonna wake up. And she's awake. That all worked perfect. Honey Pie, what was it like being in the chopper for that? Hey, who said that? I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> hey, there she goes, running off into the distance, happy and healthy. There's so much that goes into this, I can't even explain it to you. But to be a part of it is beyond my wildest imagination. This is mind blowing. I, I'm so honored to be a part of this. I'm so honored that they trusted me, that Gerard trusted me to help with the tools. Dad, thank you so much for teaching me how to use tools at a young age because that would have not been possible without you. All right, so we just got done darting the first elephant. We attached the collar. We did all of our work and it went flawless. Then we came back here. We all got a little lunch, drank some drinks, the girls did some target shooting so that they knew the gun and how it shot really well. Then Tinas sat with them and showed basically where they're going to be shooting. Now, Chopper Dundee is going to take them up and I think they're going to dart like four or five with the contraceptive medicine. You can only have so many elephants in a certain area and if they overpopulate you've got to call the entire herd you can't just take out a few you have to take out the whole herd so this is a huge expense for the landowner and for everybody involved but instead of letting them just reproduce 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 they're trying to inject them with contraceptive medicine that will let them live free but not reproduce. This is all about conservation, game keeping, game managing, and taking care of the land. Thanks for riding along.
Hey, guess what just happened, y'all? We just hit three million subs. We did it! Hey, this is all I can say, folks. It started out with me and Sarah in the condo. We weren't even married. Now we have children filming elephants in, in Africa. And I know three million is a huge number, but it's, it's three million one. Three million of you. And I want to tell each and every one of you, thank you for being a part of this. We're going to go back to the lodge at Dagaboy Safaris. And we're going to dance like it's 1995. Actually, I'm going to film that. They're going to dance. I'm going to film. It's, so, it's like an emotional day. Like, this is so cool. So cool. I never in a million years dreamed I would be a part of something like this. And for Rob to work as hard as he does, day in and day out, and hit three million on a day like today is overwhelming. I'm so proud of them. Oh my gosh, and there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that you guys just can't see. He works so hard to keep giving you guys content. It's not about the money, it's our livelihood. Do? What we do, if we didn't get paid, we would still figure out how to do it. Wow, I have no words.